Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Starlight Blue PS5 DualSense controller. This was one of the colors that I actually wasn't planning on buying, but after seeing it a whole bunch of different times, I was like damn this thing does look really good and I probably should get it for my collection. Plus blue is one of my favorite colors, so I'm really excited to unbox this thing. I picked up mine from my local GameStop, but you can get this pretty much anywhere right now. Also, if you want to pick up one for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. And sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird today, I just got my wisdom teeth pulled not too long ago, so I'm gonna sound a little bit off. I think the new colorways only came out about six months ago, so they should be fully stocked pretty much everywhere. But just looking at the box art, I think this is gonna be a really cool, like, sky blue colorway. And I'm really excited to unbox this because I've actually never seen the controller in person. I've only seen it from photos online and everything, but anyways guys, let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, so here is the box. It's got the standard PS5 packaging with like mostly white with a little blue stripe on the top and then the product image in the middle. PlayStation logo and Sony logo. DualSense wireless controller. Let's flip it over to the side. So compatible, of course, with the PlayStation 5. Here's the back. So heighten your senses. Haptic feedback, which is phenomenal on the PS5. The adaptive triggers is really cool too, especially if you've played games like shooters or even the Spider-Man video game. It's got a built-in microphone and then it's just saying that the controller is very comfortable which I definitely agree. This is probably my favorite gaming controller I've ever used to be honest. Now let's flip it over to the other side so it just tells you what's inside of the box here. So we've got the controller which is the Starlight Blue controller and then we get our instruction manual and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm not going to keep the box so I'm going to open this thing up kind of caveman style. All right, now we've got our pizza box here. All right, let's open it up. I just can't wait to see what this thing looks like in person. So let's take it out. So you do get that instruction manual, which I don't really need because I think I own like five controllers now. I should know how to set it up and use it. But if you guys don't know how to set it up, I'm gonna show you in this video anyways. So you probably won't even need this thing. And that's all you get. You don't get a USB-C cord, unfortunately, which I definitely think they should be including it with a $100 controller, but I guess not. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. That looks really good. That looks a lot better than I was expecting, especially with the black bottom right here. I think the contrast between those two colors looks really, really cool. You can even see the PlayStation icons look like a frosted kind of silver, which I think looks pretty good. It's very subtle. And I just love the feeling of a new controller. It's just so fresh, ready to be plugged in and play some Lego Star Wars. Triggers, of course, they're gonna be the exact same as all of the other controllers, but um, you can see it's got L2, L1, R2, R1. You've got the USB-C port on the top and then a little Sony logo right below it. On the back here, we've got a really cool design detail. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but you can see these little grooves along the back. This is actually the PlayStation icons, like the ones from the front of the controller all over the back. It definitely adds a little bit of texture to the back, which makes it easier to hold in my opinion. It just gives you a little bit extra grip. It's not gonna be anything crazy, don't get me wrong, but it is a nice little detail. So you can definitely see right here the front plastic is very smooth and then the back has a little bit of that texture that we were talking about. You've got the PlayStation button there, the mic controls, share button and options button. You've got your D-pad and your other buttons right here but just look at that design. Like whoever made the PS5 DualSense controller they did a great job. Like I said it's my favorite controller I've ever used but yeah that's really it for the controller. I gotta say it looks a lot better than I was expecting and I really really like it. Okay so it's actually really simple to connect the controller to the console so all you're gonna need is uh, a USB-C cable you're gonna plug one end into the controller and one end into the PlayStation 5 so let's go ahead and do that quick and there you have it. You can see the controller is lighting up now. And I gotta say the orange light with the blue looks really, really cool. So we're just gonna hit the PlayStation button. And then right there, it's just telling us that there is a software update that we need to do on the controller. So let's go ahead and update that now. The software updates for the DualSense are super, super quick. So it should be done literally any second. There we go, 66, 68. We're already at 78, 80. We're gonna be done in three, two, one and that's it so restarting the controller now you just select the user that you want to use so click 
And that is literally it. Super, super easy. So guys, that's it for the unboxing and setup. Now I'll just give you my final thoughts on the controller. That was pretty exciting, eh? Just a quick little unboxing and setup for the controller. This controller is actually really, really cool. Like I said, I've never seen it in person before until today. And I really, really like it. The color definitely pops. It's definitely unique. And I think it's going to look really good in my setup because there's a lot of blue in it, obviously. So having a sky blue controller just kind of completes the look. I think. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this controller and what is your favorite color that the DualSense currently comes in. I think mine still has to be the Cosmic Red or the Galactic Purple, but this one's definitely in my top three, which actually surprised me because like I said, I didn't think I was going to pick this one up, but I'm glad that I did now because this thing looks so cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Like I said, if you do want to pick one up for your own setup, there's a link down below for you guys to pick one up. Other than that, yeah, thank you for visiting the channel make sure you like and subscribe i've got a ton of videos coming in july but for now that's the end of this video thank you again for watching and i hope you guys all have a great day